This video will demonstrate how the SZ Series Cable Release Safety Breakaway from OPW Engineered Systems protects valuable fluids, loading equipment, and personnel. The SZ Series Breakaway, shown here in 316 stainless steel, is designed to separate with either a direct pull or an angular pull. Separation is triggered by a cable release, thereby reducing hose and pipe stress. The SZ coupler is suitable for any hard connection where a vehicle might pull away, causing unintended separation and a potential spill. The unit itself is made up of two coupler halves, held together by four segments and a slide ring. The cable moves the slide ring, which results in a release of the holding sections and a separation of the two coupler halves. To maintain the unit, or to put it back in service, the first thing you will need to do is pull this slide ring all the way back. This is done with a socket wrench. As we tighten each assembly bolt, we are lifting the ring. Evenly tighten the screws all the way around until they are bottomed out. This will allow you to separate the unit. Here, we see the two halves of the coupler. We have spring-loaded poppets on each side, which instantly close in the event of a separation. Now we're going to show you how to replace the three seals. First, clean the faceplate and remove this O-ring that is seated in a groove on the face. Take your seal pick and gently lift the O-ring out of the groove. Here we get a better look at the four sections. When the unit is in service, these sections grip the flange on the other half of the coupler, holding it in place. The ring goes around these sections and clamps the two sides together. With the slide ring around these holding sections, the unit cannot come apart unless a specified force pulls the cable, which then pulls the ring off the sections, causing separation and shutting the poppets instantly. Next, we'll remove each of the two poppets and replace the poppet seals. We do this by going to the back of the unit and removing this locking ring, which is held in place with this safety tab. You must move that safety tab with a pair of needle nose pliers. This opens the locking ring, allowing you to remove it with your snap ring pliers. After removing the locking ring, you can then pull the poppet assembly through the body of the unit. You have the spring guide, the spring, and the poppet. This is the seal we'll be replacing. There is one on each of the two poppets. Clean the exterior and take your seal pick to remove the old O-ring. It can be discarded. Here are the seals that will come in your seal kit. There are two poppet seals and a larger O-ring or face seal. We'll start with the first poppet. Clean the groove completely, removing any particles, and place a small amount of seal lube around the poppet. Then slide the O-ring over the poppet, carefully but firmly pressing the seal into the groove. It's important that the seal is completely seated to prevent potential leaks. Reassemble the first half of the coupler by putting the spring over the poppet and insert the spring guide into the spring. This poppet assembly can then be guided back into the body of the unit. With the larger units, such as this 4-inch model, it is advisable to put the base in a vise or on a surface that allows you to push the poppet assembly down as you replace the locking ring. You can use the butt of a hammer or a piece of wood as shown here. Once the poppet has been pushed down, the locking ring can be guided back into the groove using your snap ring pliers. Here we see the poppet guide in position, held in place by the locking ring, which is completely engaged in the groove inside the body. You will also see the safety tab is back in position, keeping the ring in place. Now we'll move to the other half of the unit and we'll follow the same procedure. Open the safety tab inside the body of the unit, then pull the lock ring out with your pliers. We then proceed to remove the guide, spring, and the poppet. Carefully clean the poppet and remove the old seal. Wipe the groove clean and again place a bit of seal lube around the diameter. 
then slide your O-ring back into the groove, firmly pressing it into place. Place the spring over the poppet and put the guide back on the end. Then feed the poppet assembly back through the unit. Once your locking ring is back in place, bend over the safety tab. We are now ready to replace the O-ring in the face of the unit. Clean all surfaces thoroughly and place a little seal lube around the grooves on the ring. Place your new face seal into the groove, firmly pressing it all the way around. It is also recommended that some lubricant be placed on the outside of the holding sections. This will aid in reassembly. Now we are ready to remount the two halves of the unit together. For larger sizes, three inches and up, find the long mounting screws provided with your SZ coupler. These are used only for the purposes of reassembly. For smaller sizes, the two halves can be drawn together by hand. Align the two halves, including the poppets and the guide bolt shown here, and make sure that it goes into the guide bolt hole on the other half. Once you are aligned, Press down firmly and thread in the mounting screws, one on either side, to pull the two halves securely together. Once the two halves are securely joined, evenly release the tension on the assembly screws around the diameter of the coupler to let the slide ring come back down. This engages the slide ring over the four holding sections we saw earlier, holding the coupler securely together. The final step prior to going into service is the removal of the mounting screws on either side. Once they have been removed, put them in a safe place and your SZ safety breakaway is ready for service. When in service, this dry brake will minimize fluid loss and protect hoses and loading equipment. The SZ Series Cable Release Safety Breakaway, making your connections safer, cleaner, faster from OPW Engineered Systems.